Ever have one of those awkward moments when a business disappointed you? You got ripped off? Didn't get what you expected? The Better Business Bureau can help you avoid these uncomfortable situations. BBB accredited businesses are honest, ethical, and reviewed annually by the BBB. Don't experience another awkward moment with a bad business. Trust the ones that operate with integrity. Look for the BBB seal. It's the sign of a better business. And find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Too, we all want to be winners, right? The winning drive comes from choosing Unleaded 88, a cleaner burning fuel made from corn. That way, we all win. Now give me some wings. That's the winning drive. Now let's go get some tailgating snacks. Joe the Car Guy, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car is on injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. So bring it here to Westside Auto. I have the team of experts that can fix every automotive injury. Whether it's a fractured joint, a broken part, or if your car just got its bell rung, we'll do a complete physical to make sure your car is game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get you back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you got your dog out there. Move it, move it, move it. Ever have one of those awkward moments when a business disappointed you? You got ripped off? Didn't get what you expected? The Better Business Bureau can help you avoid these uncomfortable situations. BBB accredited businesses are honest, ethical, and reviewed annually by the BBB. Don't experience another awkward moment with a bad business. Trust the ones that operate with integrity. Look for the BBB seal. It's the sign of a better business. And find a better business anytime at BBB.org. On a brisk evening here at the Maroon Stadium, the home of Dowling Catholic High School, with kickoff originally set for 7.30 p.m. and was brought forward to 6 p.m. due to the below freezing temperatures. Class A, Class 4A Dowling Catholic Maroons welcome Class 3A Norwalk Warriors in a regular season CIML matchup tonight here at the Maroon Stadium. My name is Justin Forster and I'm pleased to bring you this game live on Central Iowa Sports Network. Well, it's been quite the, part, quite the two weeks so far with Norwalk managing to get a game in last week against Southeast Polk, which went to a penalty shootout with Norwalk Warriors coming out on top and this will be the opening game of the season for the Maroons, whose game was cancelled last week due to the weather. We're in freezing conditions here in West Des Moines, Iowa, with a game that was originally meant to kick off at 7.30 p.m. Norwalk, coached by Dustin Kralik. He's been there, he's done it, he's won the state championships. He's been a state champion in 2017, 2016, 14, and 07. Finalist in 23, 12, 11, 8, 6, and 4. So he knows the game, he's, he's been there and done it as the clock counts down to the start of the match tonight with the national anthem and the prayer and we will get going here in just a sec we will be back shortly Save big during our spring sales event going on now at DeArmond Automotive Knoxville. Get up to $15,000 off MSRP on the new 2024 Ram 1500. Up to $5,000 off MSRP on the 2024 Grand Cherokee L. The 2023 Jeep Gladiator with up to $15,500 off MSRP. And the 2024 Ram HD Cruise starting as low as $53,990. Spring sales event going on now at DeArmond Automotive Knoxville. DeArmondAuto.com. When you need to conquer the drifts on your property, get the job done your way. 
the Western Defender Compact Snowplow. All the professional grade features in just the right size for your mid-sized pickup or SUV. Easy to attach and easy to use. Get the performance to plow like this and finish like this. Western. More jobs done faster. Visit Truck Equipment Inc. today at truckequipmentinc.com. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Outdoor furniture season is here and we've got you covered with the best selection in central Iowa. We're featuring poly furniture by Berlin Gardens. Once you've seen the fit, finish, quality and materials of Berlin Gardens poly furniture, it makes everything else look like it was built in somebody's backyard. We also have Iowa's best selection of aluminum, wicker, wrought iron, cushion and sling. Fireplace Superstore, just west of Homemakers at 109th and Douglas. Hey you two, we all want to be winners, right? The winning drive comes from choosing Unleaded 88, a cleaner burning fuel made from corn. That way, we all win. Now give me some weight. That's the winning drive. Now let's go get some tailgating snacks. Number eight, Andy Schumacher. Number 12, Bayani Neary. Number 14, Josiah Crowder. Number 15, John Folk. Number 17, Luis Marquez Sedano. Number 22, Jonathan Mendez. And number 24, Matthew Hoover. Will you please rise for our pregame prayer, followed by the playing of our national anthem. It's Truck Month at DeArmon Ford Indianola. New F-150s, best-selling truck for 47 years. Get 1.9% for 72 months plus $1,000 cash. New 2023 Escapes, 0.9% for 60 months plus $1,500 cash. 2023 Explorers, 1.9% for 60 months plus $750 cash. And the new 2024 Edge, 0.9% for 60 months plus $1,000 cash. No payments for 90 days on every new Ford during Truck Month at DeArmon Ford Indianola. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Outdoor furniture season is here and we've got you covered with the best selection in central Iowa. We're featuring poly furniture by Berlin Gardens. Once you've seen the fit, finish, quality and materials of Berlin Gardens poly furniture, it makes everything else look like it was built in somebody's backyard. We also have Iowa's best selection of aluminum, wicker, wrought iron, cushion and sling. Fireplace Superstore, just west of Homemakers at 109th and Douglas. Ever have one of those awkward moments when a business disappointed you, you got ripped off, didn't get what you expected? The Better Business Bureau can help you avoid these uncomfortable situations. BBB accredited businesses are honest, ethical, and reviewed annually by the BBB. Don't experience another awkward moment with a bad business. Trust the ones that operate with integrity. Look for the BBB seal. It's the sign of a better business. And find a better business anytime at BBB.org. And welcome back. We just had the national anthem. And as you can see in the picture here, looking from left to right, you've got Norwalk Warriors in the white jerseys and light gray shorts and white socks. And to the right, going from right to left, are Darling Catholic in the all dark uniforms. On this brisk night here with 18 miles per, per hour winds coming from the Northwest, I believe, with a wind chill of around 22. So the conditions are freezing out there at this point. We'll give you the quick starting lineups here. Norwalk Warriors in goals. <coughs> Jacoby w R Robbins in their 3-5-2 from left to right at the back. Jonah Sandoff. Centre-back Caden Endres. On the right centre-back, Jace Davis. In the midfield, you've got Noah Barrow, Tyden Eng, Tegan Cullock, 
who will be the attacking midfielder, the right wing back, Kayla Rodman, left wing back, Grant Fletcher. And up front, you've got Niall Roth and Drake Stageman. And for the home team, the Maroons, they will set up in a 3-5-2 with Hudson and goals. At centre-back, you'll have John Foth. At right centre-back, you'll have Luis Marquez. Left centre-back, you'll have Owen Smirage. As the game gets underway, in the midfield, you've got Henry Barak, who will be in the 10 position. He's dynamic at going forward and breaking lines. At, in the 6 in the holding midfield, Matthew Hoover, who will break up play. As you can see, the Maroons just dictating the pace right now with John Foth at the back as one of the captains. In the eight, Ian Cradell, who will be a box-to-box -box midfielder. Up front, Mendes, who scored 23 goals last year in the Class 4A alone. And alongside him, Joshua Crowder. <coughs> as the Warriors are trying to get out of their half in windy conditions, at this point, and both teams set up in a 3-5-2. The Norwalk Warriors coached by Dustin Krolik and assisted by Gabe Crawl. And on the other side, Jackson Teeling, the head coach, and is assisted by Gabe Crawl's brother, Garrett Crawl. As you can see, the Warriors just defending deep in these gusty conditions as the cross comes in. To the far post is picked up by Bayani. Bayani drops the ball in deep. It's picked up in the midfield here by Hoover. Ball out wide on the far side here for Darling. With Schumacher on the right hand side. Also playing in a 3-5-2, so both matchups are the same at this point, but there'll be player rotations. <coughs> Drake Stageman, the lone striker so far, partnered by Niall Roth, wearing jersey number 20. As the ball's just cleared up into the air and a ch challenge going in on the far side. Picked up here in the midfield by Hoover. Onto our near side here. Bayani as the wing back. Possession just lost there by the Maroons. It's free kick here to Norwalk Warriors. Slowing the game down just so that they can get into this game. As expected. At a momentous pace with the Darling Catholic Maroons putting everything at it in the first five minutes as the balls launch forward here to the far side and goes out of play. Rodman couldn't quite get a hold of that one. Throw and far side. Luis Mendes, the right center back, was a transfer this season from East High School, coming in to strengthen the Maroon squad. Ball cleared on our near side here. Owen Smarash. Henry Abaka, wearing jersey number four. Dynamic player, likes to get forward, likes to defend. Dictate pace, dropping deep. Ian Cradal moving up into the 10 position. John Foth keeping possession as uh, the Maroons look to drive on our near touch, touch line here. Just across the halfway line, Foth on the ball. Into Bayani, Bayani up wide to Owen Smaraj. Cradal back into the captain, one of the captains, John Foth. 
back into his goalkeeper, Hudson. Didn't quite get his foot on that and goes out for a throw in here on the near side to Norwalk Warriors. Throwing it, Nile just laying it off, but again, it's picked up here by Darling Catholic. Jonathan Mendez, a notable center forward, scored 23 goals last season in Class 4A. As Norwalk tried to build something, Tegan Krolik didn't quite get a hold of it. Tegan Krolik's dad, the head coach of the Norwalk Warriors. Mendez back into Firth. All three center backs are all left footed for the Darling Catholic Maroons. Hoover just switching play to the far side. To Lewis Marquez. <coughs> Back to Firth. Norwalk Warriors shaped up off the ball very well, keeping it very compact, making it difficult for Darling Catholic to play between the lines. Throw in here for the Warriors. Rodman. On the ball, stageman in front of him. Slight rotation in the pattern here for the Warriors. As Roth just plays the ball out. Foul throw. Back to basics with the throw-ins. The officials keeping a close eye on this. Both with the throw, told to go back. Go square, dangerous ball, closed down on the far side. Ball picked up now by Dowling, but possession given away there after the press from Josiah Crowder. And cleared away. By Norwalk, goes out for a throw in, far side. Marquez. <coughs> and that's a deflection on the far touch line, midway through the half of the Warriors, throwing coming in. Norwalk just getting a foot to it, half cleared away. Hoover will pick up the pieces in the midfield here. Nice ball straight through the lines there. Bayani picks up the second ball from Crowder. Far side there. Gridal playing it wide. He has a chance. Bayani cutting into the box on his left foot. Favoured left foot. Moving in from the wing back position. Just on the edge of the penalty area. Teague and Krolik on the ball. As you can see. Nine players behind the ball in the edge of the penalty area. Picked up here by... Darling and Henry. Abaka just sends it back to his goalkeeper. Right thing to do. Just stretch the field a little bit as you just out of your picture here. Hudson just playing it to Foth. Short into Mendez. But the back line of Norwalk Warriors, Warriors is sitting nice and strong. Stability. They got five across the back line, so the wing backs have dropped in. But there's the ball played through. Gridal running onto it, and it's offside. Norwalk Warriors holding their line nice and strong. But have to be careful of the pace, especially of Jonathan Mendez, as we all know, can score goals from his record last season. Ball given away. Mendez. Abaka didn't quite get it through. Hoover stepping in, picking up the pieces. I spoke to Jackson Teeling today, and he was telling me all about him as the ball's played in wide. Cross coming in, hits the post, and that's going to be a goal kick. Nearly catching Robbins on the near post. And that strike coming in from... Jonathan Mendez.
As the Warriors pick up, Caden Andres playing the ball forward. Now John Foe stepping up, tracked there by Stageman. Just getting his arm across. He's a little frustrated with the decision. Call going John Foe's way and Dowling's way. First free kick. Henry Obaka around the ball. Also one of the captains here. Delivery comes in, far post. John Foth onto the ball and it's saved there. And another strike coming in. And that was a chance and saved there by Robbins. Just managing to get his left hand to the ball. That was a chance for Dowling Catholic. But again, questionable marking. Warriors back line weren't going with their players at the time. Picked up here, just a little layoff into Bayani. Neri, Neri back in to Owen Smaraj. And switch there by Henry Abaka. Abaka's got great vision. He can see a pass before receiving the ball. He has that ability and slight mismatch on the far side there in communication with Schumacher. And Luis Marquez. Matthew Hoover playing as a holding midfielder. It was also a transfer, I believe, last season from Urbandale. It's the ball's played forward to no man's land. It's picked up there by the goalkeeper, Hudson Porter. John Foth opts to go to his left center back. who plays the ball out of touch. Owen Smaraj. Kyler Rodman on the ball. As Noah Baran just square to him. Wouldn't be the ball to play. He goes for it into Baran. He's picked off here. And the Warriors have it back. Diagonal ball and great ball. Played across by Caden Engders onto the far side. Wasn't quite picked up there by Grant Fletcher running onto it, but what a fantastic ball. Technical precision on the diagonal. Foth. As Marquez driving forward, dispossessed. Picked up here by Stageman. Looking to play the ball through to Krolik as it's one back on the counter press here. Foth intercepting, shot coming in, picked up again by the Warriors on the edge of the penalty area. Little layoff and cleared out of touch. Midway through the half, just a slight bit of panic there with Darling at the back. Got caught on the counter press. Throw in coming in Rodman. Looking for the lo long one, flicked on by now. Picked up by Tegan Krolik. I thought he was going to actually shoot there. He was looking on the far side for Grant Fletcher. That was a shooting charge, I would say, in the penalty area. Goal kick to the Maroons. Porter on the ball. He's got both close into his left-hand side on the far side. Just outside the penalty area, opts to go for both. Straight through the lines there, what a ball played in. Again, the square ball picked off. There was no angle on the pass, would have been just in the movement of players. As the ball's rolling in, somebody's got to tuck in underneath. Norwalk Warriors just trying to make it as frustrating as possible. For Darling as Chase Davis, Davis on the ball, right footed into the penalty area, far side. Nobody gets ahead on it. Looks like it's going to go for a goal kick. 
Well, if you've just joined us in this match, Darling had an unbelievable chance to go ahead. Jacoby Robbins diving to his left-hand side to save it as John Foth, who's got a lot of touches on the ball, drives one forward. And it's well cleared away there by Caden. Andries, again, Bayani lets the ball go out. Looking for the top goal scorer from last year, Jonathan Mendes, and again, Another throw in here for the Maroons, Bayani, Neri, who can also play in the midfield. He'll scrap, he'll fight for the ball. Left-footed, nice piece of skill there, intercepted on the square ball. Well read there. Mendez, still on the ball. One of the captains drives into the penalty area. Looks like it went out, yes. Indicated by the official on the far side, it's going to be a goal Going kick to the Warriors. Kobe Robbins. Kobe Robbins. Robbins being the busy of the two goalkeepers on the other end. Hudson Porter. Ball just crosses into the half. John Foth up for the challenge. It's going to take a lot to beat that. John Foth at the back with the aerial battles. Norwalk Warriors might have to figure out another way to build. They have a game plan ball played into Mendes' feet. Doesn't quite get a hold of it. Dispossessed there by Niles and Tegan just putting on a bit of pressure there. Tegan Krulik. Porter into Foth. Backline sitting steady, even though they're playing a 3-5-2. Wing back on the far side for Norwalk. Grant Fletcher's dropped into the back line. And then on our near side here, Rodman, as he drives forward. Rodman on the ball. A little bit of space. Closed down there by Abaka. Dispossessed by Abaka. The experience of Abaka winning the ball. Now, Me Jonathan Mendez. Lots of space to work with. Abaka on the overlap on our near side. Into space. Manages to get to the ball, wins it on his right foot, ball into Mendez, flag stays down, and there's a chance, and that's going to go for a corner. All started from a Barker winning the ball, deep inside his half, looking for Mendez. As Joshua Crowder moved into, into an offside position, but that run from a Barker, absolutely fantastic. Looks like it's going to be a short corner here with Mendez and Abaka. John Foth is up there. All the big lads are in there. Kick, One defender. This could be dangerous. Mendez with the strike. Into the far post. Oh! Foth with the opening goal for the Maroons. Putting them 1-0 up. And I spoke about the one defender on a short corner. As we look at this again, the short corner, Mendes driving the ball and both on the end of that. Just all he had to do with the power of the strike was just deflect that ball in past Robbins. Robbins couldn't do anything about it. With the assist going to Mendes. 1 0 to the Maroons. After 19 minutes, as the Warriors now will have to find a way through, as Rodman just possessed Abaka on the ball, driving the ball over the top here for Josiah Crowder, coming off his shoulder, cleared away by Caden and Endress, and that's going to be a throw in on the far side. Dominic Lozano during all of that coming into the game on the far side as the wing back on the right hand side Krolik going into tackles there it's possession given away by Ian Cradell 
And a block there by Obaka. But we talk about the goal. The goal came from Obaka winning the ball deep inside his half, driving forward, winning a corner after Mendez shot. Short corner, driven in by Mendez on the assist, John Firth opening his account of the season, scoring the first goal for the Maroons. And for the Warriors, 19, Holden Havoc, and 24, Mungio Rye. I'll get to the changes in a bit there for the Warriors as the ball played in, as the two forwards have come off, Drake Stageman and Niall Roth. It looks like Holden Havoc has come in up front. As the ball's driven forward, challenges go in, and that looks like it's going to be a goal kick. Ball near side as the Maroons looking to build. Mendez trying to get past Jace Davis. Maroons win a free kick. Short freak taken. Mendez out wide here to the near side. Foth, goal scorer on the ball. Lots of space between the lines there for Mendez to run onto. He arrived in space at the right time. Cuts onto his left foot, drives the ball. And there's Robbins diving to his left hand side. Mendez with the shot on goal, a save by Jacoby Robbins, the goalkeeper. Robbins back. Picked up by Hoover, headed forward. Norwalk Warriors just can't seem to get out of the half and that looks like a push in the back. As you can see the cut there from Mendes, great piece of skill, cutting from his right to his left foot, striking, didn't quite get a hold of it. Robbins made the save look harder than what, what it was, but he got down to it as the Maroons driving forward here now. Left-hand side, and a wayward cross there goes to Novell. Andrew Schumacher. Just off balance there when he struck it. Schumacher coming off. There's a change. So it looks like Owen Smaraj has gone out to the left wing back. And then on the far side... Ethan April has gone into right center back alongside John Firth. Mendez, dispossessed. Slight panic there from Norwalk Warriors as John Firth picks it up. Nice ball into Henry. Obaka, Firth again, manages to sneak that ball past Ray, who's coming up front for the Warriors. So far, the Maroons have won most of the area battles and the midfield battles. Just the quality in the midfield for Darling Catholic Maroons is technical, very tactical. They know what they're doing, the rotations, in and out of possession, recovery runs. As you can see, the wing back for Norwalk is 
deep inside his penalty area. There's great turn there from Mendes. Cleared away by Caden Andres. As the Maroons looking to pile on pressures, we have another two changes here. Eli Scavo coming into the midfield. Back in for the Maroons, number 12, for Josiah Crowder. is off. Again, one in the midfield there from the Maroons is the official blows. Looks like another change coming up here for Darling Catholic in front of us. Ball driven forward. Looking for the pace of Monial Ray. Picked up on the far side. Back into Foth. Just slightly miss. Slightly on the miss touches that. On the first touch. Luis, Men Luis Marquez is on the left-hand side now. As he drifts into the midfield. Bayani has moved into the sixth. A more familiar position for him as a holding midfielder. Ball played back into Robbins. Goalkeeper for the... Norwalk Warriors, if you just joined us, it's 1-0 to the Maroons, scored by John Firth, assisted by Jonathan Mendes. Darling Catholic in the dark uniforms as they drive forward here from Marquez, out to the far side on the right, cross coming in, driven in, and straight into the hands of Robbins. A cutback would have been better there with the numbers... Coming in, the late runs. Henry Obaka playing higher up the field. And ball played out of touch by Caden Hendricks. Noah Baron, sorry. Some more changes coming in. Mace Nathang enters to his first game for the Darling Catholic Maroons as he's putting pressure on the ball there. Deflects out, going to be a throw into Norwalk Warriors who are going deeper and deeper into their own half. Coming up to 12 and a half minutes left of the first half. A match that's been dominated so far by Darling Catholic, who lead by one goal to zero. Goal scored off a free kick. A corner. Short corner with Abaka and Mendes. Driven in and John Foth on the end of it. Chase Davies on the ball. Ops to go short. As you can see... A couple of the midfielders, Eli Scavo, was dropping in deep. Ball played over the top. Both Darling players got sucked into the midfield there on the far side. Picked up again, looking for a combination that wasn't quite on. Needed a little more patience out there. Tied and end. Looking to play quickly. Could have held on to it. He had time and space to... Turn and face towards goal. Porter into fourth. Gone left on every goal kick. Long ball played forward. Headed away by Caden Andres. Picked up by Bayani. Looking for that man again. Abaka. Calm on the ball. Into his teammate. We switched across. Luis Marquez, left centre back now. 
every now and again, Marquez drifts into the midfield. But the player rotation and a lot of these players play together at clubs so they know each other and they know their tendencies and characteristics within the game. Henry Obaka has moved up front, holding a higher line. Just stretching this back line in the midfield area of the Warriors as the ball is driven forward. By the transfer, Luis Marquez transferred in from east. Ball breaking the lines there to the far side. Moniel Ray dispossessed. Jonathan Mendes on the ball, far side, looking for the early cross. Picked up there, not quite, and it was just cleared away by Caden Endries. Picked up in the midfield, and Wookie Warriors now looking for the long ball in again. Which seems to be their option as they're drawing the press in. But it's going to take a lot to beat that back line with John Foth leading. The junior John Foth leaves it. For Luis Marquez. As it looks like Stageman and Krolik are going to come back into the game. Mace Nathang trying to spin out. Ball looked like it was given away by Noah Barrow, but it was a handball from Bayani Neri. An opportunity here for the Warriors who look to drive this ball into the penalty area. Jonah Sandoff. Jonah Sandoff will take this right footed away from Porter. Drives it in. Porter stays on his line straight across and it's Foth at the back there just clearing. The first phase to the top of the penalty area is going to be a throw in here for the Maroons as Krolik comes back in the game. Lucas Dingman comes in. Looks like he's going to go to the far side and he's going to replace Grant Fletcher. He's gone through a bit of work so far. Stageman comes back in up front. After a few words there with Dustin Krolik. Just trying to figure out what's going on here. With Henry Abaka has been told to leave the field. Bayani, Bayani Neri will come back in for him. It has to be an open wound or Something of that nature is both on the ball, playing it in short here into the midfield. Composure in the build-up. Mason Nathang on our near side here. Looking to play into the midfield. Wasn't quite right, but dispossessed. As he's hunting it down. Well read there by Bayani Neri. Saw that pass coming in. Ball played back. See the movement on the far side of the wing back on the left-hand side, just out of your picture. The, looking for that ball over the top. Didn't quite happen. Tegan Krolik on the ball. Neri coming back in. Wins possession. Square ball dispossessed and goes out for a throw-in. Just under seven minutes of the first half remaining. Darling Catholic Maroons leading by a goal to zero goal. Scored by John Firth, who's just played the ball into Mendez and cleared away by the Warriors. Looking to try and make Darling Catholic turn and defend. Ball down the line. Lovely little pass with the outside of the foot. Tackle coming in from behind. That is going to be a free kick just outside the penalty area. As Owen Smarish goes down to ground. And that's going to be a yellow card for the tackle behind. For 
the Norwalk Warrior Warriors. We'll get clarification on Hudson Ford on a yellow card. Henry Barker back in for the Maroons. Rodman coming Kyle back in to replace him. In for the Warriors of Norwalk. Quick kick for the Maroons. The Maroons have some technical players around the free kick. The big fellas have gone up from the back. Numbers up at the back in transition with Bayani Neri on the ball here. It's going to be Jonathan Mendez, right footer. In the gap there. Gridal looks in short and there was another chance there. You would expect somebody to get on the end of that with all the space. Look at the space in there. Gridal just sitting in the space just as the ball's driven and Gridal just gets a slight touch onto it. You can see that's off the training ground. A Jackson Teeling special, I would say. Rodman looks for the long throw. Been told by the official he's got to go back a few more yards, meters as such, on the touchline. He's getting a lecture from the referee. Norwalk Warriors in the last four matchups have never beaten the Maroons, and the Mar Maroons are looking to keep up the 100% record. <coughs> Jackson Teeling, the head coach for the Maroons, and Garrett Crawl have a long time friendship going back into the Des Moines Menace Academy years when they played together. Played four years and roommates at Drake University. They started off their coaching career as assistant coaches back in 2017 with Norwalk Warriors. Until moving here to Darling Catholic in 2021. And then there's the rivalry with Garrett Crawl's brother, Gabe, who's the assistant coach, on the other end with the Norwalk Warriors. So I could imagine today the banter going back and forth and the text messages between the group. It's, it says a lot, but it's, it's great to get young coaches out here working in the game. They've got all the experience and Obviously up against the experience of Dustin Krolik, as we know, who's been around and won state championships. As Norwalk, Chase Davis back into Endress, out to the far side. Sandoff looking for the combination with Stageman. Drake Stageman, whose dad John Stageman also played for Norwalk Warriors back in the day. I'll give away no ages here. Krolik putting pressure on Abaka. Abaka coming out with it into Stageman. Stageman relieving pressure into the midfield, looking to switch the point of attack. The movement... As Mon Moniel Ray coming in to receive the ball, enticing pressure, and that's when Kyla Rodman's got to hit the line. And a nice battle there as the ball's played out. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick here for the Warriors. As we see another change. In for Crowder. Brayton Lutz coming in for Crowder up front. Into the nine, wearing jersey number 12. Coming up to two minutes left of the half. As Rodman couldn't quite get control of that ball. Gridal calmly just turns in. 
releasing the ball into Marquez and Mendez. Nice little pass inside Mendez. Mendez on the return, onto his left foot. Out to Bayani, under pressure from Rodman. Bayani keeping the ball on the fast near touchline. Mendez with that little fake again. Jonathan Mendez into the penalty area. Left foot, he hasn't closed down, time and space. And that was a chance, I can't believe he wasn't closed down. A player of that caliber. As the ball's cleared away. Foth. Neri, Bayani Neri, back into Foth. Foth decides to turn back in. Marquez, and goes out for a throw as Rodman tries to clear the ball down the line. Much needed time coming up here for Dustin Krolik to gather his troops leading into the second half. One minute remaining, one minute remaining in the half. Mendez closed down by Krolik into the penalty area. Mendez strike and Robbins Mendes diving to his right hand ball. side. Palming the ball out for a corner. Well, he is a handful, this Jonathan Mendez. Goes out for a corner. Norwalk Warriors should think on this one if they... Ball coming in, far post. Over Foth's head. Manages to keep it in. As the Warriors clear their lines. Challenges go in on the far side. Well dealt with there by Ethan April. Foth, left foot, driven across to Obaka. Brings the ball down. Great technique onto his right foot. He'll strike from there and it's straight into Robbins' hands. Great technique. What a ball there from John Foth. And it's coming down to half time. And there you have it. 1-0 to the Maroons going in at half. Dominating possession. Goal scored by John Foth. Assisted by Jonathan Mendez. We're going to take a slight break here and we'll be back in a second. Big during our spring sales event going on now at Diamond Automotive Knoxville. Get up to $15,000 off MSRP on the new 2024 Ram 1500. Up to $5,000 off MSRP on the 2024 Grand Cherokee L. The 2023 Jeep Gladiator with up to $15,500 off MSRP. And the 2024 Ram HD Cruise starting as low as $53,990. Spring sales event going on now at Diamond Automotive Knoxville. DiamondAuto.com. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Outdoor furniture season is here and we've got you covered with the best selection in Central Iowa. We're featuring poly furniture by Berlin Gardens. Once you've seen the fit, finish, quality and materials of Berlin Gardens poly furniture, it makes everything else look like it was built in somebody's backyard. We also have Iowa's best selection of aluminum, wicker, wrought iron, cushion and sling. Fireplace Superstore, just west of Homemakers at 109th and Douglas. Hello and welcome to the CISN Halftime Show. We appreciate you watching. We hope you enjoyed your first half of the game. We're going to get you a quick halftime show here. Go over a couple of our things from last year. Look at a couple of returnees from this year and their top stats. We'll also talk about our games in the upcoming weeks. Let's get right to it. Let's start out with taking a look at your girls' soccer returnee stat leaders. Johnston was your defending state champion. That upset run for the Dragons. Led by Isabel Balsley, and she comes back. She is now a senior for Johnston. 21 goals last season. That leads everyone at CIML. These are just the top CIML slash Des Moines Metro School leaders. So see a couple Des Moines public schools and then obviously all the CIML. Rachel Hansen, now a senior out of Valley. She had 14 goals last year. She returns. Olivia DeVos, a senior out of Southeast Polk. She's back, 11 goals, along with 11 goals for Lauren McCoy. Now a sophomore out of Dowling Catholic, so a young rising star over there for the Maroons. And Taylor Mulligan, a senior out of Urbandale now. She had 10 goals last year for the Jayhawks. Take a look at your boys' soccer returnees. Johnston was also the defending state champion on the boys' side. It's a sweep for the Dragons. They'll see if they can do it again this year. And there's quite a good goal scorers, a couple good goal scorers back this year for both Johnston and a couple other big-name teams. 
Jonathan Mendez, the junior now out of Dowling Catholic, 23 goals last year. He is back for the Maroons. Preston Kipnusu, the senior out of Alley, 19 goals. He returns for the Tigers. Kyron Pope, the junior out of Johnston now, 17 goals last year for him. Enrico Sartori Fernandez, the senior out of Dowling Catholic, he's back with 14 goals. And Andrew Heckenlayable, the senior out of Ankeny Centennial, he returns with 12 goals for the Dra Jaguars. On the goalkeeping side, Victoria Spann, a senior out of Waukee Northwest, 10 goals allowed last season for the Wolves, she is back. Seba Niddle, a senior out of Des Moines Roosevelt, 13 goals allowed last year. And Lauren Knighty, a junior out of Waukee, she allowed 14 goals last year. She returns for the Waukee Warriors. And Hudson Porter, a senior now out of Dallin Catholic, just two goals allowed last year. This is minimum of 387 minutes. So that's pretty good for Hudson. He returns. Caden Lane, a junior out of Des Moines Roosevelt, just six goals allowed last year. And Alexander Poitin, a freshman, or a sophomore now, a freshman last year out of Valley, seven goals allowed last season. He returns in a big way for the Valley Tigers. So there is a lot to be excited about this season for the CIML and the Iowa Alliance Conference, all of the schools here in Des Moines. We can't wait to bring you more and more coverage. We thank you for joining us for our quick halftime show. I'm Blake Walker. We hope you enjoyed the second half. We'll see you next time. Too, we all want to be winners, right? The winning drive comes from choosing Unleaded 88, a cleaner burning fuel made from corn. That way, we all win. Now give me some wins. That's the winning drive. Now let's go get some tailgating snacks. Hello and welcome back to Dowling Catholic the home of the Maroons, leading the Norwalk Warriors by one goal to zero. Goal scored off a short corner by John Foth, delivery by Jonathan Mendez, and hopefully we can get a look at that. As you can see, that ball played across. Look at the technique and the power and the strength in that delivery, and John Foth just had to get on the end of it, notching his first goal of the season. Acrobatics that I haven't seen before. But I tell you what, what a great finish. Questioning the defending on that piece with one defender going out to close down, especially with Abaka and Mendez on the ball. But 1-0 so far. Possession, eight, I would say 85 to 90% has been Darling Catholic's way so far. The Walkie Norwalk Warriors have been defending very, very deep. Can't find a way out might need to change a few things in the second half. They've looked for the long ball in behind, but it's hard to get that ball in behind. The center back, the three center backs, it's John Foth, Marquez on the right center back, and then on the at left center back, Smerek, Smerek. They just haven't been able to beat them over the top, and when they have the pace and athleticism of the back three of Dowling Catholic has been phenomenal, and obviously Hudson Porter in goal hasn't had much to do. Uh, Robbins, on the other hand, has been busy. He's pulled off three, four phenomenal saves, keeping Norwalk Warriors in the game. But something will have to change in the second half in order for Norwalk Warriors to get back in. Looking forward to the second half. We're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be back shortly. 
save big during our spring sales event going on now at Diamond Automotive Knoxville. Get up to $15,000 off MSRP on the new 2024 Ram 1500. Up to $5,000 off MSRP on the 2024 Grand Cherokee L. The 2023 Jeep Gladiator with up to $15,500 off MSRP. And the 2024 Ram HD Cruise starting as low as $53,990. Spring sales event going on now at Diamond Automotive Knoxville. DiamondAuto.com. When you need to conquer the drifts on your property, get the job done your way. The Western Defender Compact Snowplow. All the professional grade features in just the right size for your mid-sized pickup or SUV. Easy to attach and easy to use. Get the performance to plow like this and finish like this. Western. More jobs done faster. Visit Truck Equipment Inc. today at truckequipmentinc.com. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Outdoor furniture season is here and we've got you covered with the best selection in Central Iowa. We're featuring Poly Furniture by Berlin Gardens. Once you've seen the fit, finish, quality and materials of Berlin Gardens Poly Furniture, it makes everything else look like it was built in somebody's backyard. We also have Iowa's best selection of aluminum, wicker, wrought iron, cushion and sling. Fireplace Superstore, just west of Homemakers at 109th and Douglas. Hey you two, we all want to be winners, right? The winning drive comes from choosing Unleaded 88, a cleaner burning fuel made from corn. That way, we all win. Now give me some weight. That's the winning drive. Now let's go get some tailgating snacks. It's cold, it's windy, brisk, icy, but we warm up here in the booth as we're counting down to the start of the second half here at the Dowling Catholic, the home of the Maroon Stadium. As you can see, the officials walking out Darling Catholic players walking out, and to my left-hand side, out of your picture, Norwalk Warriors are ready to go with a score at 1-0. And Norwalk Warriors, by all means, are still in this match. But they're going to have to deal with the strength of that midfield of Darling Catholic. With... Henry Obaka, Ian Gradal, Matthew Hoover. Okay, Tough to beat, but it's possible it can take a mistake for the Warriors to get back in this match. And I'm telling you, folks, it is freezing outside. I was out there for a couple of minutes prior to kickoff just to speak to the head coaches from each team, and I was feeling it. And luckily, with the CISN team, we're up here in the booth. My name is Justin Forster, and welcome back. Looking forward to a, a second half action here in regular season with Norwalk Warriors, who are class 3A, lost in the final of the state last year after a hectic match against Hoover, which I witnessed. As you can see, the Warriors in their white jerseys and light gray shorts to the right-hand side who will kick off the second half with the Maroons in their all-dark uniforms going from left to right. And then Darling Catholic lost to City West in the semifinals of the 4A, Class 4A last year. And they're looking to make, make up amends, that's for sure, talking to some of the players and the staff uh, they have a very strong squad returning as Henry Abarca's in a conversation that <laughs> doesn't look good there with the referee. I'm not too sure what it is. He's frustrated. He's got to be careful here. He's going to be showing a yellow card for dissent and Abarca gets it. He's but we're trying to figure out what's going on because he, he was told to come off the field in the first half. He's frustrated. He's throwing his shin guards down. We're not sure what it is, whether he had a slight cut or anything like that, but 
we'll find out hopefully soon. As we look to start the second half of this match with John Firth's goal separating both teams here. As the referee is not. And now decides. Darling Catholic kicking off left to right in their all dark uniforms. John Firth to our near side here with Marquez. Gradal. Back to Firth. The press coming in here from Warriors and it's back to Hudson Porter. Clears his lines with pressure coming on him. Challenges go up. Ball played forward by Andrew Schumacher. Gridell, nice ball played into Mendez. Right foot, crossing the ball across the area. There's a chance on the far post and sliding in with his left foot on the far post there, Josiah Crowder. But what a ball from Mendez. Lots of space picked out by Gridell. What a ball played in. And look at that cross. Whipped in. Defenders don't like to turn back and defend. Going back to their goal. But what a, what a cross that was. Low, hard, bending away from the goalkeeper, Robbins. Warriors on the far side. Crowder picking up into Bayani Neri. Neri in the midfield action here. Hoover up to our near side. Gridal. And it's going to be a throw in for Dowling. Uh, sorry, my apologies on that. Warriors. Marquez. Gridal. Back to Firth. Good starting position from Firth, giving himself enough depth into Bayani Neri. There's the run off the ball, played into Jonathan Mendez. And closed down. Schumacher looking to throw in. Waved off by Marquez. Luis Marquez. Mendez. Rather casual on receiving the ball. Goes out for a throw in. Just inside their own half. Near side touchline. Long throw. Played in. And it's picked up in the midfield. Played wide by Titan Eng. To the far side throw in as you can see by the linesman the AR's flag on the far side how windy it is out there wind blowing from left to right lots of space between the lines here Mendez picking the ball up close down three players around him now the Warriors Engs looking to break running into pressure Bayani Neri just managing to force Eng back into his right back right wing back Rodman, ball played forward, Firth, penalized for handball. Still one goal, separating both teams here. It's going to be a free kick. Inside, Maroon's half, driven in, right foot into Hudson Porter. Should be an easy one for him. As he gathers it, drives forward. Rodman just coming across, blocking that path of the ball picked up here on the far side into the midfield here. Or, uh, Davies onto our near side. All the way back to Robbins. Left foot looking to clear his lines. Not enough white jerseys around it. Mendez, little. Crafty little back heel into Schumacher. Cross far side. Josiah offside. Can't give players like Mendez time and space like that. Because he'll tear you apart. You've got to be tight on him. You've got to track his movements. He'll be off your shoulder in a heartbeat. Warriors up to go short. Rather tight there. As Andres came in square. Goes out. Far touch line thrown to.
to the Norwalk Warriors. Rodman. Cleared away by F Dowling. Picked up here. Josiah. Crowder on the ball. Cutting in as an option to his left-hand side. Cover coming across there for the Warriors. Sandoff. Out wide to the far side. Stageman came short, goes out, throw in, far side. Norwalk Warriors with an aggressive start to the second half. Stageman. And again, closing down. As Obaka on our near side, waiting to be called on to the field. Just better watch himself. He's in the bad bad books of the referee already. With his antiques before kickoff, earning himself a yellow card. Free kick, far side. Driven in. Porter comes short. Should deal with that. Anything in the air, in and around, Hudson Porter, he's just going to pluck out of the sky. Mendes on the ball, laying it off for Neri. Neri has got Schumacher to the right-hand side. Schumacher, big touch in front of him. Time and space, drives one in, and it's Robbins looking for Jonathan Mendes. Didn't quite get there, but again, another passage of play there from Darling Catholic. Setting the standards for the season. Neri on the ball. Looking out wide to the far side. Jo Josiah Crowder closed down. Picked up by Rodman. Rodman has had his time worked out there. He's defended well. He's tracked back again. It's picked up here by Gridal, Gridal turning into Mendes. Mendes strike and it's just gone past the post. Robbins didn't even flinch. Abaka coming back into the game. It looks like Josiah Crowder as you see Jonathan Mendes on the turn onto his right foot. You can't give him that time and space. They will punish you as Robbins just watch that ball sail past his post. Andreas going to take the goal kick. Looks like he's going to go long. Challenges go up. Tegan Krolik. Stagesman looking to close down here. Marquez playing the ball forward. Well read there. At the back by Josiah. Jonah Sandoff. Schumacher looking to drive the ball forward. Intercepted there by Engs, going out for a throw in. Obaka. And that's going to be a throw in. So Obaka's moved up front with Jonathan Mendes. Combination that will replicate itself. Telepathic movement between the two. Very technical in both players. Neri, Neri just intercepting that ball. He's done really well in the midfield. Started out wide as the left wing back. He's now in the midfield. He's doing the simple things. Plays the ball out to Obaka. Obaka now looking to take on the defenders. Cutting in. He's just plucked away. Gridal looking to shoot. Cleared away by Norwalk Warriors. Can't seem to cl clear their lines as the ball's on the far side now for Dowling. As they look to switch the point of attack. Gridal, no pressure on him. Cutting into the penalty area. Right foot. Over hits it. Goes out for a goal kick. As the pressure is piling on. Still 1-0. After 10 minutes here in the second half, John Foth. Scoring the only goal of the night so far, assisted by Jonathan Mendes. Goal kick, Warriors up to the halfway line. Challengers going in. With Roth, T. 
Tegan Krulik trying to break the lines going forward. Picked up here by Bayani Neri. Gradal playing the ball forward, and it looks like that's going to be offside to Jonathan Mendes. Norwalk Warriors ball, far side. So the referee has a word with Mendez. Not worth arguing with him at this point. He's already set the standard. He's not shy to flash the yellow cards. I must say, the hot chocolate here is delicious. Got to make it a habit of coming down to Darling Catholic more often as they look to stride forward, dispossessed on the far side as Rodman going into the challenges, Eng picking up the spare ball out to the far side. Rodman playing forward into feet. Just can't seem to break the lines. As a unit, Darling Catholic uh, returning 21 out of the 23 players from last season. Jonathan Mendes cuts to the byline, strikes a cross goal. Nobody on the end of it, just one black jersey with Gridal coming in late. Abaka making a late run on for that. As Krolik picks up, drives, switches the point of attack to the far side of the penalty area. Now Roth coming in short, he's dispossessed as Neri picking up the spare ball, far side. Abaka, he'll cut in onto his left, onto his left foot, cut back, there's a chance there, Gridal just cleared away. That was a great opportunity there, but great piece of skill on the byline from Henry Abaka as Neri picks up a little step over. Still in possession, carried on his run, wanted the ball back. He's frustrated he didn't get it back. Into Gridel's feet from Obaka. Flag went up and down. Far side, Jonathan Mendez closed down. Just can't seem to break the line. And Rodman clears, picked up here by John Foth. Manages to keep the ball. There's no runs in behind him in transition there from Norwalk as possession is kept. Foth, far side, on his left foot. Cross coming in, just over, eludes Abaka. Cleared away by Norwalk. Again picked up. With, they've always seemed to got players behind the ball in the shape in the three, two holding midfielders. Darling Catholic as they stream down the left-hand side. Mendes cuts in onto his... Right, back onto his left, lays it off. Offside on the far side, I could see that from here. My angle was off. As you can see, some changes coming in for the Warriors below us. It's going to be a change here for Drew Dunlop coming in. For Darling, not in yet, but he's lined up to come into the game. Group and then the Moniel Ray. In for the Warriors, 24. Moniel Ray has come into the game. And Quinn Scallon. And then on the other side, darling Ethan April is off as they look to break in. Right foot, Jonathan Mendez, push back, still in possession. Looks for the give and go there of, of Barker. Didn't quite work out. Stageman going in for the challenge. Ball runs loose here as the Warriors, Eng, hit in the back of Eng, picked up here, up front by the Warriors. It just needs to be a little more on and off, especially on the ball in possession. 
The problem is Norwalker getting tired with the out of possession stuff. And that's going to be a throw in just inside the Maroons half. And that's going to be another throw in for the Warriors. Stageman going, with the, going into the challenge with Schumacher headed away. Grant Fletcher with the throw. Neri picking up the pieces into Glidell. Didn't see Fletcher on his right shoulder. Firth now picking up the pieces, turns. Oh, a cheeky little back heel into Neri. Hoover. Obaka back in the midfield. Nice nifty piece of skill there from right to left. Ian Gridal wanted that ball in behind. Hoover into Gridal's feet. Played it into the pressure foot. Gridal just keeping it and it's cleared into the stands. By Grant Fletcher. Throw in. Obaka. Great ball. Just looking to bend the ball in behind for Jonathan Mendes, but well read there at the back by Caden Andrus. Throw in for Darling Catholic. Near side touchline, deep by the corner flag. Gridal, feet. And that's going to be a corner. Third corner of the night. It's first of the half for the Maroons as they send in the big guys up front. Fourth. Obaka with the corner. Lofted in. He's back on it. Cleared back into him. Edge of the penalty area. Intercepted as the Warriors look to break out. Pressure from Schumacher. Does well to win it. He had cover from Bayani Neri. Still keeping possession here. Hoover out to the far side. Grudal on the far left hand side. Slowing the pace down. Mendez laying it off. Runs off the ball here. The overloads on the far side. Ball coming in. Mendez off Grudal. Didn't quite get a hold of that. Cleared away. Only as far as the far touch line. With the score. At 1-0 still, as we see some more changes coming in. Ethan April coming into the game. Dominic Lozano coming into the game. And I believe it's Ethan April, far side. On the goal line, oh, no, cheeky little ball played. Shot coming in, blocked. Another shot, no, brought down. Toe poke, just not going in. Cleared away by the Warriors for a throw in. The blocks are coming in thick and fast in these bitterly cold conditions here in West Des Moines as the ball's played across. Lovely ball from Abarca to the far side. Cross coming in. And Robbins handles that quite well, bringing it down into his chest, slowing everything down, just trying to get everybody out. Yeah, he opts to go up. Left-footed punt. Firth picking up the pieces. Neary, second to the ball. Nice combination in there. Didn't quite pay off into Mendez's feet, back into Robbins. Didn't quite clear his lines. Holding up. Neri in with the challenge. Far side. Picked up here. Cross coming in. Obaka lines it up. Left foot. Shot. Top corner. What a goal. And we have more acrobatics. 2-0 to the Maroons. But if you look at this, the time and space that Obaka had on that. Great technique. Watched it come down, 
what a volley with the dip on the end of that going into Robbins's top left hand corner putting the Maroons by two goals to zero up with 20 minutes left of this match halfway through the second half it was inevitable that goal was going to come with the amount of pressure put on Robbins's goal 2-0 to the Maroons As we see the changes coming in. Going back to that goal, great technique. Bayani Neri taking a break. Played really well, he's done well in the midfield. Play broken up there on the far side. As the Maroons keep picking up possession. Now the game's starting to open up. Throw in on the far side. We'll get clarification on the assist of that goal. Gridal under pressure still manages to keep the ball. Gridal. Good footwork. Didn't quite prevail in the end as the ball went loose. This could be the moment where Darling need to restart, try and draw Norwalk out of position as the goal scorer. The second goal, ball played across. Great technique there from Gridal onto his right foot. Robbins, great starting possession, position, just picking the ball up. But again, players' movement, time and space as Gridal turns on it, half turn into Jonathan Mendez. Crowder with the run off the ball, closed down, onto his left foot, another great save. Pressure coming in from a Barker, didn't quite get on the end of it. Another save there from Robbins, who's done really well, been impressed with him in goals. Foth at the back here. Out to the far side, to Marquez, to Zaya Crowder, looking to try and thread the ball through for a Barker. Josiah making a run into that half space area on the far side, left foot across. This is where all the action is on the far side. As the Warriors struggling to get out of their own half. The experience, Mendes, what a turn. On the half turn, manages to keep the ball. And Hoover looking for his teammate on the far side, asking for a little more of him as Rodman coming back into the game. On the two changes there for the Warriors, Stageman coming off and Ray coming off. Both Dinking the ball into Gridal. Gridal finding Obaka. Look at the overload on the far side. 2v1. Well read there at the back by Davis. All Maroons so far enjoying their possession as they did in the first half. Mendes onto the far side. Cross coming in. And it's just kicked over the crossbar by Caden Endres. Going to be a corner kick on the far side. Second of the second oh, half for the Maroons. For the Maroons please, please. As Henry Obaka is going to take the corner on the far side. Right-footed in swinging corner. Driven in. Decent ball cleared. Back out to Abaka. Again, swinging it in. Cleared away. Just to the top of the penalty area. Strike coming in there. From Men Jonathan Mendes. Well, I tell you what. Robbins is getting some good goalkeeping practice here today, tonight. As well as shooting practice for the Darling Maroons. Cred credit to 
Jacoby Robbins, he's played extremely well in goals for Norwalk Warriors. Goodell going in for the challenge, looked like a handball there. Managed to disguise it, finds a way out, weaving and jiving, ball played in for Mendez. Cover coming across there for the Warriors from Andres, and then that's going to go out for a goal kick again to Norwalk Warriors. Short this time. Little layoff, Rodman. And it's picked up on the far side. As Dowling looked to build out of the back and it goes out for a throw in. Far touch line to Walkie Warriors. As you can see, the amount of dark jerseys around the ball. Every single time Norwalk Warriors get the ball. The ball was looking for Mendez. Wasn't quite struck well. Easy pick up there for Robbins. Great cover there by Hoover. Just covering ground. He's does a remarkable job there as a six. The amount of space he covers and intercepting passes as Gridal plays the ball out wide to April and finds John Firth. Rodman going in for the challenge. Firth slowing the game down, going out wide to Ian Gridal. Hoover. What a ball there by Obaka in for Mendez. Mendez goes past the goalkeeper. It's going to be a penalty. Mendez brought down by Robbins. And this is going to be a penalty, but what a ball. Threaded through the eye of a needle. What a ball there by Obaka in for Mendez. Mendez just clipping the ball past the goalkeeper, Robbins. For the move, Jonathan Mendez. So it looks like the official has given Robbins a yellow card. Not sure what's going on. He's come across to speak to Dustin Crollock, the head coach. Robbins, who saved two penalties in the penalty shootout against Southeast Polk. This means that Drew Newberg will have to come in. The reserve goalkeeper. Grant Fletcher is the goalkeeper now for the Warriors. And it looks like it's going to be Mendez to step up. Strikes past the goalkeeper's right-hand side, bottom corner. Jonathan Mendez on the score sheet of the night, putting the Maroons up by three goals to zero. Look at the technique in here. Right-footed coming across his body. On the ground, bottom corner past the goalkeeper's right-hand side. Trying to get clarification on the goalkeeper that's coming because the reserve keeper is Drew Newberg. Came in with jersey number two. Is worn by Grant Fletcher on the field. I'm going with Newberg. We'll get clarification on that. Fletcher's on the field already. So we have two jersey number twos on there. So that is Drew Newberg in goals. 3-0 now to the Maroons with coming up to 13 minutes left of the match. 
Mendez with the third goal, earning the penalty and scoring the penalty off the pass of Obaka. Cross coming in. Newberg coming out, looks to release the ball quickly to the left hand side. As Norwalk driving forward, John Firth back to his goalkeeper, Hudson Porter. Playing short to April. Just in deep inside his half, going back in. Options on the switch to the far side. Gridal, composure. Obaka in support, ops to go forward. Great ball between the lines here. Jonathan Mendez looking to break, well covered there by the Warriors. Hudson Forts at the back. Still 3-0. Coming up to 12 minutes left of this match. Darling Catholic Maroons opening game of the season, regular season, Gridal. Plays a lovely ball through here to the right hand side. Cross coming in. Deflected, picked up there by the Warriors. Can't quite seem to clear their lines. Turn inside the area from Crowder. The Warriors just can't seem to clear their lines. Really struggling. Now they get the ball out. But April just turns and plays it back to his goalkeeper. Porter. Obaka spins and turns on a sixpence there and just lays it back out to Foth. Looking for Jonathan Mendez and the Warriors clearing the ball out for a throw in. Just inside the half. Jonathan Mendez with the third goal. First goal scored by John Foth. And the second goal of a sublime volley from Abaka. Having said that, all three captains have scored on the night for the Maroons. Warriors looking to drive forward out to the far side. Number of white jerseys in the penalty area. Cross going out for a goal kick rather wasted. As we see more changes coming in here for number eight, Andrew Schumacher, and number 17, Luis Marquez Sedano, back in for the Maroons. 13, Lucas Dingman in for the Warriors. Firth looking to dink the ball forward, picked up here by Andres. April Mendez on the ball, turns on his. Defender playing a ball forward here for Obaka. Obaka looking for the first time ball around the corner. Looking for Crowder on the far side and cut away there by Andres. Corner kick for Henry Abaka. Abaka with the corner. Near side to the booth. Right footed, out swinger. Into the far post, ball coming in, and it just goes out for a goal kick on the far side. Newberg in goals. After the yellow card to Robbins off the foul on Mendez, conceding the penalty, which was converted by Mendez. Stageman back in the game up front with Moniel Rye. The ball's played forward. Rye with April. Black jerseys now recovering in transition on our near side here. Cross coming in, picked up by Firth into Gridal. Gridal 
play opting short. Gridal picking up the pieces in there with the challengers. And away come Dowling Maroons. Schumacher, first time ball, just looking for Jonathan Mendez. Good idea. Under eight minutes left here in the second half at Dowling Catholic in West Des Moines. We all thought this game was going to get called off tonight. The original kickoff was 7.30 p.m. It was brought forward to 6 p.m. I know Jackson Teeling, the head coach for Dowling, wanted to get this game in. The game last week was cancelled as Mendez, trying to cut in onto his left foot, was blocked and the ball's cleared away. It's picked up here in the midfield by Marquez. Stageman with John Firth. Firth shielding the ball on the far side. Stageman, ball goes out. It's going to be a throw into Darling Catholic. As we have an injury, it looks like, I believe, Jonathan Mendez is down. He did call to the bench when the challenges went in. The clock has stopped as per high school rules. Been dragged off by his coaching staff. I hope he's okay. How about a big hand for the injured Maroon, Jonathan Mendez? Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Crowder has come on. It looks like it's cramp. It's got to be the heat wave we're having, isn't it? Play goes on. Crowder's in for Mendez. The score of the third goal. Schumacher drives in. Newberg with the save. Deflection. Well saved. Just parrying the ball to his right-hand side. Great save from Schumacher's strike on that diagonal pass. Schumacher arriving in space at the right time, right moment. Corner on the far side. 3-0 to... Dowling Catholic, Maroons, with a promising squad, still with injuries. In Swinger coming in into the far side, and it's gone directly in the goal, and a Barker with his second of the night. Straight from the corner, in Swinger with the help of the wind. As we look at this again, nobody else touched the ball. Fantastic delivery into the far corner over Newberg's head. Putting the Maroons by four goals to zero up. And Obaka's second goal of the night. With coming up to six minutes left of this match. The game starting to open up here for the Maroons, who enjoying the possession, dominating in possession here. Credit to Norwalk Warriors. They've worked extremely hard out of possession. But with this squad that the Maroons have put together, with 21 returning out of 23 from last season, is a technical machine led by Jackson Teeling and assisted by Case and Crawl. Uh, Gary Crawl. You won't like me for that. It's one of the Crawl brothers. As we see Gridal wanting to get on the score sheet, cutting in, going into traffic, does well, just lays the ball off to Abaka, out wide here to Schumacher. Schumacher cutting in onto his left foot. Laid back into the midfield. Luis Marquez, driven ball out to the far side. This would be the moment as, as you see Marquez, Marquez, Marquez just laying the ball off. Ball into the far side and there's your hat trick. Hat trick for Henry Obaka, goal number five. Sneaking in on the blind side of the defender and finishing off the volley. What a fantastic 
won the delivery and the assist, but what a fantastic goal. Well taken there by Henry Abaka. Look at that ball into the far post, and all he had to do was put his right foot onto that and pass Newberg, who could do nothing about that, putting the Maroons 5-0 up on the night with 4.40 left in the second half. Hat-trick for Henry Obaka. Take a bow. As he's brought off with Jonathan Mendez. Darling Catholic Maroon. The Maroon setting the standard for the season. Still got Walkie Northwest who are looking very good as well. And obviously the state, state Cup holders, current holders, Johnson. And then on the east side, you've got City West. As the cross comes in, he has another chance, goes up begging. And that's going to go out for a corner. There was a slight deflection on that. Newberg's come into the game and he's... Had qu quite a bit of work to do as he saves that one as it goes out for a corner. Driven in by Gridal. Saved by Newberg. Parries it to his left hand side. And it's going to be another corner for the Maroons. Cross coming in. Gridal, free header on the far side. Far post. Norwalk Warriors with one player up front. As it's driven in, goes out for a throw and on the far side. As we see down below us, some more changes coming in for, eventually, for Dowling. Uh, Bray Brayton Lutz coming in. We've got Truman Cook. Ethan April coming into the game. Schumacher's come off. There's now the changes coming in thick and thin. Drew Dunlop has come off. Jackson Teeling giving some of his bench some game time in the opening game of the regular season. Norwalk. Warriors on the far side. Would love to get a consolation. Goal in this match is that's on side on the far side here as Dowling streaming forward. And there's Ian Gridal again. Trying to get on the end of that cross. Coming up to two minutes left and another corner for Dowling Catholic Maroons. Over the head of Nurberg, not quite clear. John Foth trying to get on the end of it. A teammate, a teammate of Jackson Teeling and Garrett Crawl from the Drake University days. I'm good friends with his dad as well. Jared Arday is watching this match from back home in, of all places, Mississippi, Gulf Shores. I hope he's doing well and enjoying the match here tonight. Brought to you by CISN. As Dowling pick up the ball, driving forward, Mace Nathang onto our near side here. Ball threaded through. That looks like offside on the far side, and uh, I'm correct on that one. Under a minute to go of this match. Offside on the far side. 
just a matter of formality at this point as Norwalk Warriors have come down. They've competed well. They came down with a plan. Rodman. But those Dowling Catholic Maroons are strong. They're deep. They've still got some injuries. As we come down to 18 seconds left of this match, 5-0, Abaka with a hat-trick, Mendez with a goal, and John Firth with a goal. The leaders of the squad getting on the score sheet as we wind down to the end of this match, and that is the final whistle here at Dowling Catholic. We'll be back shortly. We're going to have a short break, and we'll wrap this up. It's Truck Month at DeArmond Ford Indianola. New F-150s, best-selling truck for 47 years. Get 1.9% for 72 months plus $1,000 cash. New 2023 Escapes, 0.9% for 60 months plus $1,500 cash. 2023 Explorers, 1.9% for 60 months plus $750 cash. And the new 2024 Edge, 0.9% for 60 months plus $1,000 cash. No payments for 90 days on every new Ford during Truck Month at DeArmond Ford Indianola. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Outdoor furniture season is here and we've got you covered with the best selection in Central Iowa. We're featuring Poly Furniture by Berlin Gardens. Once you've seen the fit, finish, quality and materials of Berlin Gardens Poly Furniture, it makes everything else look like it was built in somebody's backyard. We also have Iowa's best selection of aluminum, wicker, wrought iron, cushion and sling. Fireplace Superstore, just west of Homemakers at 109th and Douglas. Ever have one of those awkward moments when a business disappointed you, you got ripped off, didn't get what you expected? The Better Business Bureau can help you avoid these uncomfortable situations. BBB accredited businesses are honest, ethical, and reviewed annually by the BBB. Don't experience another awkward moment with a bad business. Trust the ones that operate with integrity. Look for the BBB seal. It's the sign of a better business. And find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Five nil on the night to the Maroons. First half goal from John Firth. Then the rest came in the second half. A hat trick from Abaka after Mendez got the other one. But looking at this first goal, Abaka lining it up, sublime, an absolute perler over the goalkeeper. Head, left hand, top corner. And then obviously the celebrations to go with it in the corner there. Second goal straight from the corner. Great precision with the help of the wind over Newberg's head into the far corner, claiming a second goal and the fourth of the night. And then the hat trick was concluded by Obarka as play was built up on the far left hand side. Timing has run off the shoulder of the defender, and there he was again coming in the blind side to side foot that ball. Home for the hat-trick, giving the Maroons their 5-0 win on the night and their opening game of the season. And I tell you what, what a promising season it's going to be ahead of them. From myself, Justin Forster, and the production team of CISN, Ruben, thank you very much. And we look forward to having you back on in the near future.